TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are live. But by the time you see this, we won't be. So just leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK, man. And as you can see on the screen, it's Father Gordon time. You feel me? <laughs> Before we get there, man, twitch.com if you want to catch any of the old streams or catch up on or be ready for the new ones. Usernames on the bottom of the screen. You see it just popped up. Don't forget, we do got Patreon. We post five days a week. That's stuff that we cannot watch on YouTube. And we also got merch, man. The link to all of that is in the description below. This is Season 2, Episode 10. Talk to me. Let's get negative. Boca Raton, Florida. Oh, we in Boca. A community filled with stately homes, luxurious golf. Boca's 30 minutes away from me. Courses and miles of picturesque beaches. It's this good life that attracted Cece and her family to move here from New York 10 years ago. I'm thinking. Huge population of New Yorkers in Florida. It's crazy. Her father, a former pizzeria owner, helped Cece open Anna Vincenzo's in 2001. My father gave me over $300,000 to open up Anna Vincenzo's. My father's been in the restaurant business since before I was born. And I've always been around the kitchen since I was a baby. Okay, pumpkin. Bye. I love you. We can tip. No, I'm just playing. My fault. No, no. Come back, y'all. I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. We can tell because you can cook very well. You go in a restaurant, so it got to be in your blood. Now, Cece is raising her own family, along with her husband, and facing the challenging demands of being owner and head chef of Anna Vincenzo's. Welcome to Anna Vincenzo's. How are you tonight? Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Stop. I'm a self-taught cook. Bio marsala, cuatro formaggio. I don't think there's any rules. Self-taught. My menu. No I rules. cook what I like. Chica marsala, padrino, snapper. Cook what you like. Anna, I am passionate about what I do. Can you tell Michael pick up his fucking calamari wherever they go? After I opened, business was insane. It was fun to come to work. The adrenaline's going, and it's it's fun. It's great. And you make money. Some then what? About two years ago, it started to change. Let's see, everything that you could possibly think of went wrong is gone wrong. I don't really know why or what happened. That looks like shit. When it's slow, that I don't even want to come here. I've lost my desire to come. I don't know how to cook snapper. Maybe it's not cooked enough. That's what she said. Not to me, but to one of y'all or something. To be honest, I got to say, it's CC probably the biggest reason why we're having trouble right now. Hey. Okay, forget it. Let's go to another fucking table. She never really cares what's going on. Why is it still here? Table 42. She'll serve crap to a table. <laughs> when she gets mad, she's aggressive and angry. Here's your f Tell everybody to fucking go home. I'm shutting the place down. Yeah, Cece has to be hurting now that the business is going bad. There's no customers left. I don't know what happened to them. Where did they go? As of right home. You sent them home, Cece. You're talking about you a self-taught chef. Girl, if you don't go hire a chef and get up out of there, what are you talking about? Now I, I'm in debt about 190000 to my father. I stay up at night just thinking, how am I going to give him his money? There's like nobody fucking coming here. And five tables we have and everything's fucked up. So hard to see my daughter lose money every day because Sissy works so hard. CC does not work hard. We're only two minutes in, and I've seen it. <laughs> it is very stressful and very difficult for CC. Now that we have a son, the restaurant has to work for our personal lives just, just to even live. I'm a failure. I'm afraid we're going to lose our house. What'd he do? I always tell Michael, I'm afraid we're not going to be able to feed the baby. Hi. Hey. I have, like, a weight on my shoulders that, you know. Time out. What does Michael do? Now I, I'm gonna I'm gonna pre-call it. It's watching your woman, watching your wife be in survival mode while you just sit back and um, coach is insane, bro. Step in and lead. Weighs a thousand pounds, and that kills me. Oh my god. Chef Ramsay's my last hope. <laughs> I 
Vincenzo's. Wow. Hello. 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 How are you? Good, how are you? Anna Vincenzo. It's dark, gloomy, cloudy in there. They got business. So. Anna Vincenzo's, the restaurant. I'm Cece. You're Cece. Nice yeah. to meet you. Would you like to eat? Uh, yeah. Okay. Good to see you. Thank you. I would say that he should like everything. There's really nothing on there that I make that I don't like. This is your restaurant. Correct. Yeah, you're the owner. And by the look of the state of the apron, the chef as well. Yep. Um, and where did you learn to cook? My father had uh, a restaurant since before I was born. Wow. So I was raised uh, pretty much in a the kitchen. There's a line cook over there with white hair that keeps on staring at me. Is he all right? That's my father. He works for you? Yes. And my husband is head server. Oh, your husband's here as well? Yep. He helps me out because... So the husband's there too. Okay, okay. If I was... Like, I'm gonna be real. If I, like... I think he's just trying to make you happy. That's why he works there. He wants to show he's helping. But if I was him, I would have slid and got another job. He probably do got another job. Duh. Okay. We need it. Uh, where is Do you want to meet him? I'd love to meet your All husband. Right, I'll get him. Michael? Yes. Um, uh, Mr. Chef Ramsey wants to meet you. Well... Are you? Michael, I can't believe it. Good to see you. Thank you very much. Uh, looking nice and smart. You dress like this normal for work, or...? I always like to look nice, uh, so for I guess, so... You look like you're gonna do a hit after dinner. <laughs> huh? <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, sweat a little extra just to look nice for the customers. I gotta get back into the kitchen. Ashton? Ashton, how are you? I'm doing good. How are you doing? Yeah, very well, thank you. Good to see you, too. I guess we'll be talking to each other? Oh, yes. Oh, good. Right, Ashton. I'll take one of everything. One of everything? Yeah. One, One of, of everything. everything. Why not? Great way of really getting to see each and every dish, understand. I see pure disappointment coming down. One of everything is negative, Gordon. And in the flavors and getting a touch of that authentic Italian cuisine. One of everything on the menu. Yes, please. Okay. Thank you. Welcome. The Anna Vincenzo menu is ginormous. He must be insane, because we're going to be here all day. He wants one of everything. What happened? He said he wants one of everything. Just say to him, let me understand. You want one thing on the okay, whole so Cece wants to clarify that you right. do want one of everything. Because right. I hope he hasn't eaten in a week. Oh. This is going to be harder than I thought. Cece says you hope you haven't eaten in a week. It's a big menu. Have you seen it? I haven't seen the menu. Can I have a quick look? Yes. Oh, what did I get myself into? It's quite large. Yeah, like that's One, just... One, two, three. Oh, my God. It's that big? How many dishes are on there? A lot. Huh? Then you have the... Look at it. Mm-hmm. Aye, aye. That was a joke, by the way. I hadn't even looked at the menu. I figured that. There must be hundreds of dishes on there. Now, if you haven't eaten for a while, I'll be well, more than happy to prepare Let that. me have a look at the menu and I'll order, yes? I was like, oh, thank God. Okay, so uh, I'm ready to order, thank you. All right. So I'd like to start off with... Now, let's be real. One of everything, he's done that before, but the menu was not this big. He was dead serious when he did that. It's salmon uh, divino. Thank you. And then throw in the uh, snapper anna. Snapper anna? Yeah. The favorito del nonna. Yeah? Thank you. You're welcome. Wow. Okay, here we go. You got salmon divino ready? Here's your salmon divino salad. <laughs> what is up with the theatrics of the plate? First of all, guarantee the salmon is over undercooked. 100%. This looks like a fucked up version of a science lab. Thank you. You're welcome. Wow. Salmon is dry. Overcooked. Bland. Undercooked. Fuck to get that thing. What do you say? Overcooked. Overcooked. Fuck to get that thing. Huh? <laughs> Do they paste that together in the morning and stick it together? Slice it just now. And is the salmon fresh or is that frozen? Um, I couldn't tell you to be honest. Would you ask her? Because it yeah. tastes frozen. Okay, let me go ask. Thank you. He wants to know if your salmon's fresh or frozen. Tell him it's fresh, but it is frozen. It's not fresh then, CC. What do you mean it's fresh but it's frozen? What are you talking about? Said the salmon comes in fresh and then they freeze it. It's like eating a piece of cardboard there. That has to be Florida's worst dish ever. He said Florida's worst dish? The 
Sam and Davino. He said what? Tasted like cardboard. He's supposed to be here to help me. He's not supposed to be telling me that nothing's good. Give me the snapper, Anna. No, no, no. That's what he's supposed to This is helping you. This is constructive criticism. If he complains about this, I'm really going to fucking kick his ass. Oh, my God. There's the snapper, Anna, for you. The snapper, Anna? Mm-hmm. I'm just out of interest. Where is the snapper? We're under all that. Under all that. This one looks like a, uh, a dog's dinner. I don't know how well this is gonna work. It looks super soggy. That looks unentertaining. I would not eat none of this so far. They're in Florida having frozen fish. Like, bro, go, just order it every day. That's dumb. Boom. Mark. Oh my god. I just taste of mush. It's Michael nearby. I'll get over here. And she grabbed, hold on. Um, he grabbed her husband to taste the food? That's insane. Just taste that for me, would you? That's the snapper, Anna. It's soggy. Should be baked a little longer. Ah, right. it's fucking disgusting. Yes, sir. Thank you. Um, would you do me a favor? We make sure that CC tastes that, yeah? I think it's really important. All right. Thank you. What he said? For you to taste. Taste what? He says it's soggy. I'm not, he, he touched that. I'm not gonna put my mouth on that. The snapper was soft. Well, what the hell do you want it to be? A hard like a rock? I mean, I don't even get that. Tell me, you know what? She doesn't even want to cook you the rest. Now I'm really getting pissed off. I'm not kidding. She's going mad. Does she all shout at something. You know what? As a huh? chef, tell him that I said there's starving people in the world, and if I have to keep making food to go in the garbage, I don't want to make any more. Right now or when I bring in the next? No, day? right now. He's just there to taste it. Do you think he's about to eat the whole thing? Why should I make him anything else? I don't waste nothing. Fuck him. CC said that there's starving people in the yeah, world. Yeah, wait, let me just stop you there two okay. seconds. Yeah. She got something to tell me. She should come and tell me herself. Okay. I don't think it's fair that you have to do her okay, dirty work for her. <laughs> so tell Cece when she's finished cooking, she can tell me everything she wants. Until then, I'm here to eat and to taste the food. I'll tell her. I appreciate that. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I didn't want to tell Cece the truth at all about anything he said. She's going to probably kill me. She's going to kill the messenger before she even kills Gordon Ramsay. What's that? He's saying this later. You can tell him yourself. But right now, he wants to try and eat everything. So he is a bigger asshole than I thought. Yeah, fuck him. What? Fuck him. Fuck him? Chef Ramsay. It's a pleasure. Nobody break his legs to you. Is your pizza? Thank you, darling. And which one is the, oh. That's, That's the favorite, the Nona. Piece of Nona, lovely. I don't care how many fucking stars he has. He has he 17. Stars. You don't have any, so he can't kiss anything. Jesus Christ. I'm so pissed off right now. That's just not nice. Soggy in the middle and crispy on the outside. That's dreadful, what a shame. It's a bit plain, boring, yeah. mm -hmm. bland. Thank you. Can I go over there and scream at him? Yes. Take your knife uh, with you. I'm not going to even say shit. I'm just going to throw it. I tried to throw it in the garbage before she saw me, because I knew she was going to flip. Oh, fucking, no fucking way. What's wrong with that now? He said it was bland. Oh, my god. He said it needed more flavors to it. I was so mad at him, I wanted to rip his head off. He's British. He doesn't fucking know anything about pizza. What's that? Coming up. He fucking didn't hit him with something. That's cat. British people know a lot about pizza, right? If you thought lunch wants some bad dreadful to listen. See to believe. This is my life. <laughs> you talking all that mess. Now you fine. After a terrible lunch. That's dreadful. What a shame. Chef Ramsay is ready to give his input, uh, but this good. owner doesn't appear ready to listen. Let's start from the top, shall we? Sure, let's start. The salmon? Yeah. Yeah? Hideous. The decoration with the cucumber. Everybody loves that salad. Who's everybody? The restaurant's <laughs> empty. Okay, the snapper, bitterly disappointed. Talk to her, Gordon. Who's everybody? It's empty. Don't be delusional. Let's be real. <laughs> Open your eyes. From mozzarella and didn't even taste of snapper. That's bullshit. Yeah, you didn't taste the snapper with the mozzarella on top? What's wrong with that? I asked Michael to make sure that you tasted it. I'm not going to eat something off your plate. You are a piece of work, aren't you? <laughs> yes, I am. When people talk bullshit about my food, yeah, Sorry. that pisses me off. Where's Michael? What difference does it make what fucking Michael is? He's got nothing to do he with it. He tasted it. And what did he say? He said it was mush. Are you fucking kidding me? No. Nope. Where is he? I don't like being criticized at all. Maybe he's talking out of his bum, as they say in, in England. 
You said the fucking fish was mush? No, it was tender the way everybody else enjoyed it. Yeah, it was tender. Oh my oh, god, he laid down. Are you down honestly trying to tell me that you're now saying that was perfectly cooked? Soggy. Should be baked a little longer. It was a little bit on the softer side. A little bit on the softer right. side. I'm not expecting you to stand there and stick up for me, but trust me, the food was overcooked and it was bland and mush. But there's nothing wrong with that snapper. I think it was very foolish and very hard-headed that she wouldn't listen. I was like, oh, what are you doing? What's with the defense mechanism? <laughs> oh, my God. Huh? Don't you get defensive if somebody comments about your food like that? I don't cook shit like that. Uh, when was the last time a customer uh, complained about the food? Well, last night. Mm -hmm. And what did they say? It was bland. And were they right or were they wrong? No, they were right. But you're off the wall with what you're saying. Here's the difference between you and me. I listen for feedback. You can't handle it. I came here because you asked me to come and help you. And your reaction on me telling you something quite constructive in a very calm manner is a joke. OK, so you want me to be your fucking puppet? Why are you because, shouting? Because you're Why? pissing me the fuck off. So shut the fuck up and talk properly. Is this the way you react when I'm here? <laughs> is this a normal procedure when it... Yes. In front of her man and her dad is insane. And none of them is saying nothing. It is, yeah? Oh, you're going to get your fucking ass kicked. Oh, there you go. Madam, you have an attitude problem. I'm not too sure which is worse, the food or the attitude. The, the attitude. Can I hit him now? Uh, you know, a lot of people said you were a jerk. I think I believe it. Anything else? Fuck this. No fucking way. That's the second time you walked out? a sad case. Am I supposed to run after him and say, oh, please come and help me? Well, fuck you. Yes, fucking that's what you're about to do. I was that close. You're about to run after him. In spite of his rude welcoming, Gordon decides to give Cece another chance and returns to the restaurant to observe Cece and her staff in action during a dinner service. Right, so, what do you keep in here? Tartufos, our gnocchi. And who makes the gnocchi? Uh, we used to make them ourselves, but we buy them now. They look definitely frozen. And what are these little babies Meatballs. here? Meatballs. They're a little, uh, overcooked. Jesus Christ. And whether that overcooked, would you serve them? We can't just throw them away. They smell like cat food. Cat food? That smells like an authentic meatball to you. Well, I don't have cats, so I don't know what cat food smell like. Oh are we going to be able to cook, or are you going to keep busting my balls? I swear to God, I'm not here to get cross-examined by you. Let's get that right, yeah? There's only one person who's going to be fucking losing out on this, and it's certainly not me, OK? But don't fuck with me. I really want to prove to that pig-headed ah! jerk that I can do it. Nice. Hi, welcome to Yeah, you need to turn over that energy more, more at the problem and not the solution. We're going to go right this way. Right over here, guys. Who wants to go first? You chicken farm. Confirm? You want veal piccata. Very good, thank you. You ready? Yes, please. Rigatoni vodka with chicken, a rigatoni angelino, a fettuccine alfredo. Please. Rigatoni vodka with chicken, a rigatoni... I'm almost positive this is not how you do whatever is being done. Tony angelino, a fettuccine alfredo. It's gonna be too much batter. Veal chop. Full 11. Can somebody pick up this food? Can I get some fucking service back here? Cece always seems to point the finger in the other direction. She's been always blaming the server. She never once thought maybe there was something wrong with herself. Get that shit out of the window, please. Ouch. Cece pushes the first orders out quickly. She's annoying. Her customers... OK, we have the grilled chicken. ...are unhappy with what they receive. The meal has no flavor at all. I'm sorry about that. And I'll be back to get those plates, OK? Jesus, what happened there? They said uh, there's just like one giant chunk yeah. of it there. That's what happens when you use frozen food and dip it in flour that was not even shaken off before it goes in the fryer. Do you tell Cece? Told you. No, that's not how you're supposed to do it. You're supposed to get all the access flour off. It just looked wrong. See that now or? Um, I'm afraid to because she's so busy. She needs to know. Trust me. Cece, the customers are saying that they're too chunky. Like they're just like one giant piece. The calamari was in a big clump. I saw that. You expect people to pay money for that and eat that? Come on. Why don't I just work by myself and fire all these fucking people? You think I can handle it by myself? What are you talking about? I'm trying to help when you get so defensive. Continue serving shit, then. Ew. OK, 
CC? No, no, wait, wait, wait. They just say it's no flavor, but they're willing to let you try to put some flavor in it, like garlic. No, I, I just don't want to put nothing in it. It's like they just spitting in your face saying, oh, what is this shit? This is not She's childish. She, she had to be spoiled. She was spoiled growing up. She was never told no. She was never told how to do something like this. They're good. CC, I need this uh, reduced down a little more and add up. Michael, you know what? I'm ready to tell everybody just to leave. It's coming back for a reason, right? Don't huh? even. I just don't even want to hear it right now. Well, you can't just fight like a precious princess. Yeah, I, I look like a fucking princess, right? Sorry, I thought this was your restaurant. I think Princess Diana didn't hang out in the fucking kitchen. She's from your neck of the woods, isn't she? Wow. Exasperate. First of all, Princess Diana is not on Earth anymore, isn't she? At this point, by the number of returned dishes, I can't keep doing it. An immature CC is ready to throw it's in the very tub. immature. I'm done. What do you mean you're done? Everything's fucking coming back. What are you standing here fucking keep cooking for nothing? It's a disaster. I've had it. I'm finished. I'm done. <laughs> she hyperventilates. Just 90 minutes into a disastrous dinner service, Cece is not only frustrated, I'm done. she is embarrassed and has reached her breaking point. <laughs> <laughs> my fault. Are you going to be all right or are you going to pass out? I can't get in my breath. You want oxygen? Or... Michael, that's his name. It's not time to be funny. <laughs> I reached the breaking point in the middle of everything. And I just totally wanted to go home. Even the breaking point is not very high. I don't even think Gordon is even going 100%. Like, I think Gordon has assessed the situation and lowered his um, aggressiveness down. Cece has calmed down and returned to the kitchen. Can you tell the rest of the people when I'm serving him my food? She has no interest in continuing to cook. Shut the restaurant then. We gotta get What's the, the rest point of having a fucking chef that doesn't want to cook for them? Shut it down. Well, we gotta. I'll get back there. I'll uh -huh. get back. There. It's too important. It's too important. As Michael and the line cooks try to push the last orders out, back in the dining room, many customers are fed up and leave without ever receiving any food. Have two minutes with you. Thank you. That's pretty bad. You're right. <laughs> now come on. <laughs> After all that tough, 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 tough talk, all that yelling, here you go, breaking down. <laughs> it's all, a, it's all a gimmick. It's all a shield. What's it called? It's all a front. I can't start to even attempt to help unless you come to terms with the problem, and that is the food. I it's good when I cook. Likely. Come on. This is not a game for me. It's not a fucking game for me. This is my life. It's not a joke for me. Don't start saying that. It's not a joke. It's not a joke for me. I care. If I care, I wouldn't fucking be here. So stop just saying I don't care. Just stop, please. Oh, I haven't said that. Yes, you did. What I'm trying to tell you is that you have to come to terms internally that there's a huge problem, and that is with the food. Nobody wants to hear that anything that they do sucks. I don't like to fail. Death would be better than failing. It's certainly not a sign of weakness to admit your failings. I've closed three restaurants, but I also have a number of successful ones. 1,650 members. I know members. who you are. That's... And it's, it's, I... Yeah, a jerk, you told me earlier. Well, you can't be a jerk. Stop. Oh, my God, she's whining. Oh, my God. God, I have a three-year-old that whines all day. I don't want to hear you do this. Talk like a regular person. Acting like a pensioned teenager. I'm not going to stand there and be a doormat for you to take the piss out of me. Let's get one thing right. You asked me here, and I'm here to help. So let me in. OK, the food's up. There, are you happy? There's a problem with the way the food is prepared. There's a problem with the way the food is ordered. There's a problem with the way the food's not respected. I'm sorry, Cece, but it's just not good enough. <laughs> Any relationship?
location of CC's Pizzas in America? Can somebody look it up? Because she might have failed at this and then started to change CC's Pizza, which is successful. New day tomorrow. Okay? What do you want me to do? Come in with a better attitude. I want you to go home and get some rest. Right. We start the rebuild. I'm sorry I called your name. Let's go. Up. Let's How did you not accept it? Let them clear down, and I want you out of here. Okay? Where am I going? Yeah. Home. Oh, he home. says he wants to help me, and I believe him. This place means everything to me. And I don't want to just give up. So oh, Lord. Jeff Ramsey now believes that CeCe is finally prepared to listen, so he comes in early the next morning to put the first part of his plan into action. Now, all of you together, no yeah. problem. cook me the whole menu. That would be like 180. 181. All right, we're going to give it a try then. The cooks only have three hours to prepare the 181 dishes before CeCe and the rest of the staff arrive. I bet you they cook it better than she can. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning, sir. Today's a new day. Yes. New start, new attitude. I've got a little surprise for you. A small surprise. Let's go. Oh. Jesus. <laughs> oh, my God. Like, holy shit. There's food everywhere. One of every dish. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm shocked at all the food over here. Like, I knew the menu was big, but seeing it all in front of me now is amazing. Like, I'm just like, really? The menu's far too big. Yes. Yes. That has a huge impact on a number of things. Slow Money. production coming out of the kitchen, high food cost, and more importantly, inconsistency. The bottom line is you're producing quantity over quality. So we've seen the menu. Visually, I've got another way of getting this menu across. I want to show you how big your menu really is. Oh, my God. <laughs> Debbie, Ashton, I need your help. Yes? Two seconds, come around. I'm going to start off with each and every dish. You're the frozen lady? Yes? Ashton, you are the fresh lady. Let's go. Calamari Vritti. Yeah, tender squid, lightly floured and fried. Fresh or frozen? Frozen. Sticker here. On we go. Mongoli, fresh or frozen? Frozen. Can't hear. Frozen. Thank you. Fresh grilled salmon, fresh or frozen? Frozen. 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 Frozen, frozen please. Frozen. Let's go. Frozen. I've been in the freezer. Frozen on there. Frozen. Definitely frozen. Keep up, girls. Struggling to keep up? Trying. Trying. I didn't even think I was going to even put a fresh sticker on that. I'm going, okay, I'm going to stand here, I guess, the whole day just doing nothing. No, they got salad, right? Caesar salad, fresh or frozen? Fresh. Thank fuck for that. Knew it. Fresh salmon grilled to perfection on top with citrus mango salsa. That's fresh. fresh. OK, let's go. It's a rude awakening to see how much stuff on the menu was actually frozen. Just over 80% frozen and 20% fresh. We're going to start off by reducing the menu. Cece, I'm going to be working with you in the kitchen and coming up with a plan for the Anna Vincenzo family-style meal, soup, salad, pizza, homemade lasagna. I'm going to do that with you personally, OK? Sure. For the next dinner service, Chef Ramsay is determined to introduce a special that is not only fresh and delicious, but positions this restaurant as the ideal place mm. to get oh, value and quality for a family. Okay. Simple lasagna, the meat lasagna. Fried. I don't want to hear her complain at all for the rest. Like, don't even start a side. Like, I don't want to hear nothing. Beef. A little touch of the sauce. Okay, it's going to be one third sauce, one third meat. A little touch of our ricotta. Sauce on top. I personally like this family style idea because this is definitely something that we should do because that's going to help the kitchen. It's going to totally help us get the food out faster. The fanya's in. Okay, we've got the soup. Have a little taste. In terms of flavor, it's extraordinary. Yeah? Yesterday, I really hated Chef Ramsay and I wanted to kill him. Today, I really believe he wants to help me. Yeah, honestly, when chef get to cooking and and get the proven, like like action and better action speaks louder than words or whatever. When he get to doing that, like it's really nothing you can say. Like, oh, this is why you're like that. Dang, you cook good. <laughs> like, for real. Like, 
Coming up. It's fun to go back. Oh, he's now willing to take his advice and move forward. So he and his team work together to pull off a huge surprise for Cece and her staff. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'd like to welcome you all to the new Anna Vincenzo's. Take your blindfolds off, please. Welcome to the new wow. Anna Vincenzo's. Oh, my so God. Great and beautiful. <laughs> Look at the space oh created. Gone are those dark, sedated colors. We've got lightness. It's contemporary and it's timeless. Doesn't it bring so much light in here with the windows? <laughs> I can't even describe the difference. And I think <coughs> this change is going to oh, change everything. Oh, my God. <laughs> it looks 100% better, I see. It's classic, contemporary. You can sit on every table and view across the room. Webstrong Store had donated $10,000 worth of plates, knife and forks, <laughs> tableware, chairs. God bless you. And Cece, you, my darling, are going to be the star of your new restaurant. Have a little look at that. Kiss the cook. How cool is that? Make it yours. Yeah? The color? It felt awesome to see Cece that happy. Like, she was blown away. She gave him a hug. Before she wanted to rip his head off, and she just gave him a hug. It was cool to see. You happy? <laughs> Angela, you happy? She my daughter happy, so I am happy. Good. And what do you think? Beautiful. Yeah? God bless you. Thank you very much. Thank you. You never get it. So now they both cried. Wouldn't they both cuss them out? Together for the rest of my life. What is Chef Ron do for my daughter? Oh my God, it's so different. It looks like a different place. I can't get over it. Yeah, I'm ecstatic. I'm just a little nervous about the new menu. After this, I don't know what else he's got in store. The menu has gone down by half. It looks bad. Why? So you can keep the cost down and the freshness up. Yeah? You have to think forward. Your kitchen needs help. I know. Yeah. So I've arranged for a top ah. restaurant consultant, OK, which I'm taking care of for the first month to help you get through this difficult time, OK? <laughs> His name is Daniel Surfer. <laughs> Daniel. Hi, Chef. Yeah, how, how are you? I'm doing well, thanks. Good. Sir. Now, here's our owner, CC. Yes? Nice to meet you. He's been handpicked by myself. Years of experience. Some of the best restaurants across Florida. Now, this man's going to be by your side for the next month. Yeah? Look after him. Listen to him. I won't yell at him. Yeah. <laughs> you have a phenomenal chance here. You shouldn't be yelling at anybody that can do something better than you that you want to learn from anyway. They look at you like you're dumb. Uh -huh. Did you just check yelling at me? To turn this around. Today is the start. Ready? Good. I couldn't even believe that he got a chef consultant for us. I feel more hope now. He's rich. I know that this is going to make a total difference. You like the menu? You like the decor? Yes. Good. What's missing? Customers. Customers. So now we have to use our initiative and spread the word. I started putting together with my team the most amazing marketing plan. So today, five Florida radio stations will be outside that front door in your parking lot. Why? We are having the Anna Vincenzo's pizza making contest. Oh my God. Yeah. Cool. Now, that's not all. We have three teams competing in this contest. Team one. Are you gonna add the winner's pizza to the menu? One. Representatives of the Miami Dolphins. Yes. <laughs> Team two. No representatives way. Representatives of the Miami Heat. Oh my god. What? what year was this? Because they might have some good heat players. Team three. <laughs> representatives of the Florida Panthers. This is crazy. The most important objective of this contest. Florida Panthers? Jacksonville Panthers? You mean? What are you talking about, Gordon? I'm like, I'm thinking like Florida Panthers? Wait, who? He, is he talking about the Jacksonville Panthers? No, that's the Jaguars. Who are the Panthers? Hey, Siri. Florida Panthers. We 
gonna get to the Siri. Don't even. Who are the Florida Panthers? Hey Siri. Who are the Florida Panthers? The Florida Panthers are a professional ice hockey team. Oh, that's the hot. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. I wouldn't know that. It's by tonight. The whole of South Florida, yeah, would have heard of Anna Vincenzo's. Yes? Excited? Good? Oh, no. Why are you unhappy now? What's the matter? <laughs> <laughs> going to call me a jerk again? No? Because you haven't today so far. It's a jerk-free day? Wow! Oh, yeah! It's a special yeah. day for us. The whole family at Anna Vincenzo's, not just me. Gordon's a good guy. After a drastic makeover, God, it's so different. And a dramatic menu change, the Anna Vincenzo family meal. Gordon has created a huge marketing event to spread the word, featuring South Florida's top pro sports teams: the Miami Dolphins, the Miami Heat. The oh, Dolphins. Eddie Jones! They will be competing in the first annual Anna Vincenzo's Pizza Making Contest. The turnout today is amazing. Who else is there's there? There's camera crews, there's news crews, there's radio stations. I'm like, I don't even know where to turn. Each team has the most amazing ingredients in front of you guys to make their own pizza. You have three minutes to make that stunning pizza. Yeah! Take your stations. On your mark. Get set. Go! Let's go! Haha, <laughs> I didn't... Uh, he played for the Heat? Luke Walton? Roll and twist. Slap your baby's butt. Easy, easy. Just let it flow in your hand. Wait, who is that? Oh, James Jones. What did I call him? Slap your baby. Go back. Who is that? Roll and twist. Johnny. James Jones. Easy, easy. Just let it flow in your hand. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Try to keep it in Bill the circle. Bill Lindsay. They're all sucked. They're terrible. There we go. Masterpiece. Give us a little inspiration behind the thought and the process. We want to make it even. <laughs> we want to make it a success just like the Panthers. Panther pride. I don't even eat meat, but I put meat on the pizza. <laughs> just because I didn't know what else to do, so. One ingredient on there that you think is going to blow the mind of the judges. Put a lot of love in it. A lot of love? love OK. <laughs> Excellent. Right. <laughs> They all did a really good job. Even though it looks really easy, it's not that easy to make pizza. We're going to find out who the winner is. The Florida Panthers. Cheesy. Miami Heat. Oh, that one's good. Here we go. It's going to be tough. The Miami Dolphins. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. Good. Hey. So who won? The winner of the first ever Anna Vincenzo pizza making contest. Is it gonna be Panthers, Heat, or Dolphins? Which one is it? Come on. I'm gonna have to say that. The Miami Dolphins. I'm coming that way, pepperoni pizza. Oh, yeah. Pepperoni pizza. Chef Ramsey's marketing oh, event nice. did definitely get the word out about the new Anna Vincenzo's restaurant opening. The whole Boca knows that. Listen, I'm gonna tell y'all one thing about Florida food, it's terrible. So any restaurant that Gordon backs should have stayed alive in the Florida area, in the South Florida area. We're doing a relaunch. It's like a dream. It's an amazing experience that I would never expect in my life. It's a new beginning. We're going to be awesome! In my personal opinion. After the extraordinary marketing event, consultant chef Dan Surfa works with CC to prepare the new menu. Put these in the oven. Then Chef Ramsay introduces the dishes to the staff. We cut the menu in half, increase the freshness and the quality. First impressions, how does it look? Smaller. Smaller, <laughs> yes. OK, let's start from the top. Baby fried mozzarella balls with marinara sauce. Shrimp scampi, yes. Calamari frit, not clunt, glued together. The sea mussels, yes, with white wine and tomato sauce. Baked clams. Uh, they're not frozen, they're baked. It's That's so good. beautiful. Wow. Parmesan breaded pork chop. The pizzas, they're a bit of a hallmark here, so we just tarted them up a little bit. Spaghetti meatballs, fresh. If you're not happy with it, you don't send it. End of story. 
The line stops with you. Have a taste of the food. Let's dig in. Mm. The eggplant tastes good. Uh, this is my favorite. This is my favorite. I'm very excited. Egg, eggplant low-key be fire. I, whoever decided to roast that and put it in some ingredients on it, it's good. I'm excited about the menu. The family meals, I could do stuff like we make at home and serve that family style. The Man. Anna Vincenzo family style menu. Push it, okay? Let's go, yeah. Let's get set up in the kitchen. Hi, welcome to Anna Vincenzo's tonight. How are you? Good. Just party of two? You want to do the family special? Yeah. yeah. Nice and easy. Okay, you're going to love it. Very nervous. Everything's at stake right now. We need to get this relaunch, like, going. Tonight's about standards, yeah? She's out here rearranging Parmesan cheese, but why are you doing this? This is this, this is a tactic to buy to to waste time at work. One hundred percent. Lunch, like going. Tonight's about standards, yeah. Quality over quantity, yes. And a Vincenzo's family meal, yeah. Got to work tonight. Let's go. Give it all you got, yeah. Yes. Okay. Please. I feel really, really nervous. Tonight's a really big night. It means so much to us, and I just don't want to mess it up. Let them know the difference between what you're waiting for and what's ordering in. Can you start me two veal piccatas and the single right. lasagna? But don't, don't like call it again. Okay, good. Right, Cece, these yeah. first three for tables gotta go quickly, yes? Okay. Gordon's overhaul of the menu has been dramatic with an infusion of quality and freshness. More salad in there, please. His family-style meal and smaller menu have made the load like in the kitchen much more manageable. Come on, guys, get it together. Timing. And as a result, CeCe pushes the first orders out quickly. Hey. It's our kitchen. Okay, very hot plate there. It's nice. Very good. It's amazing to see how much fun everyone's having right now with this. Family-style meal. The atmosphere in here is magical. All right, that's good. I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. I need family lasagna, table 10. After that, there's no more. Okay. It's only half an hour into service, and we've nearly sold out of the Anna's Vincenzo family-style meal. So, as a result, the kitchen's running a lot Makes smoother, sense. but the night is still young. Those lasagnas are a little too cooked, I think, no? Oh, man. Whatever. If something's it's ready, don't whatever. wait. Just send it out. Does that look good to you? It doesn't matter. Get the shit out. That old shop looks burnt from here. Are you fucking shitting me? Is it burnt? The pork chop? Yeah. It's done like that. Just send it out. Just send it out. It looks black from here. Well, we don't have time for mistakes. Service! It's fucked, guys. Is it just plain ignorance or are people thick round here? I'd rather go to the table and tell them we've an extra 10 minutes because we burnt it than stand there sending them shit. I'm gonna flip my lid. And none of you have seen me go fucking crazy yet. You know what? I don't fucking give a shit. Fucking hell. It's just one dish, CC. Chill. You got more than enough time. I'd rather go to the table and tell them we burnt it than stand there sending them shit. It's relaunch night. And although Cece has come a long way, it appears as though she is slipping back to her old habits. It's fucked, guys. And Gordon is having none of that. I know it's hard. You do not have to send it out. Make another one now. Thank you. Start this table. And you wasted Parmesan, more time. Veal Parmesan, veal marsala, spaghetti bolognese. No more fuck-ups. We don't have time. Thank you. That's what I need to hear. We're going to handle it. Please keep an eye on that pork chop. Don't burn it, please. I was like, you know what? New place, new rules. Come on, we're almost there. We're almost there. We're going to start following what Gordon said. It's like starting all over again. Come on, guys. Now there's harmony now. Yeah. I need the pork chop before it gets burned again. Awesome. Good work. Good work. Perfect. She's actually really okay, good at cleaning chop. the plates. There's a different CC that I've ever seen working in the kitchen. Now she really cares what's going on. She's not going to serve crap to a table. She's going to make sure it's good. That's establishing a, a standard, CC. That's established not there, but there, yes? Yes, Chef. Look at that. That looks beautiful. Yeah, that's right. She's in right. Yeah, that's the way I like it. CC, they said that pork chop was amazing. On table 30, they loved your flounder. Everything was perfect. Awesome. Cece proved she had accepted Chef Ramsay's plan. 
She maintained a high standard in the kitchen, and she was rewarded with happy customers. Pretty good. Everything good, guys? Yes. Yeah, good. You enjoyed Very everything? Good Thank For you. For all the smoke that was in the air in the beginning, like, she ended on a good thing. I was just like, oh my God, this feels so good again. Seeing the restaurant full. This is wonderful. <laughs> Thanks. Great. You know, when you see the place empty, it, it hurts. And when you see it full and everybody's like, wow, Thank this you. is great. It's, uh, it's amazing. I got all my passion back. Good to see you guys. I hope to see you again. Have a good night. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Come back. See us. Okay. What a difference from the first night I was here. This is the restaurant that Boca Raton needs and wants. You did very well tonight. And even when <coughs> the problem started, you didn't start throwing out mediocre food and that was the telling point almost and that pork chop that you didn't send made me happy mediocre doesn't sit in this town you're above that now well done thank you if you would have asked me three days ago i would have said oh good riddance i'm sorry to see him go actually he did a lot something i'll never Please forget don't cry. you've got the restaurant you've got the menu yeah you've got the family behind you You've got everything you need, CC, here to make this place work. Go for it. <laughs> yeah? Stay with it. Because I know you can do it. Thank you. Okay? Can I hug you? Of course you can. Come here, you. Well done. Well done. Good job. Really good job. Yes? And good luck. I really mean it. Okay? Thank you. Yeah? Good luck. Thank you. Okay? You can do it. Hey. Good to see you. Thank Don't be scared much. to take that jacket off from time to time. <laughs> yeah, loosen up a little bit. Thank you. Brother. Look after your daughter. Where yes, is that oh, trust me. The oh, money's coming shit. back. I can smell the dough. I know it's over there. Lots of dough. And I look after my daughter. That's what I wish my life. Thank you so take much. Care. Look after her. Yes. Thank you. Excellent. Bye, chef. God bless. Thank you. Right, thank you. What a week. Florida may be called the Sunshine State, but when I first arrived, it was anything but sunny. CC and the restaurant have come a long way in just a few days. Quite frankly, I'm surprised. I only hope the sun continues to shine down on Anna Vincenzo's. Please. Ah, forecast for tomorrow. 100% chance of tears. See? We made friends. Well, y'all know what to do. Let me know if this restaurant made it. It looks like it did. He's not it might have. <laughs> After Chef Ramsay left Anna Vincenzo's, Cece oh, continued to follow his advice. Welcome to Anna Vincenzo's. She kept a smaller menu and buys fresh ingredients. New and fresh and exciting. And for the first time in a long time, Cece is hopeful for the future. All right, TLO, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post, I'm gone.